start. Hello, good morning, good morning everyone. Probability Statistics Part 2, Chapter Number 1. We are taking basic and primary examples based on probability. Last time we have covered the theory portion, important definitions and rules and formula based on probability. Today we take the practical examples, numerical examples. Three points or three unbiased points are tossed simultaneously or a coin is tossed for three times. Find the probability that find find the probability that number one two head and one tail occur and head and tail occurs or appears alternatively. There are two number of the events. Number one two head and one tail and another event head and tail occur alternatively. Now if three points are tossed, if three three points are tossed at a time. The total outcomes are 2 raised to 3 equal to 8. What are the 8 outcomes? HHH, HHT, HTH, THH, TTH, THT, HTT, and TTT. We know where it is. Right? 8 number of the outcomes, the total number of outcomes, it is known as sample space, universal set, it is denoted by capital U or capital S this way. Right? Now the two events are given and we have to determine the probability for that. That event A, that A is the event that two heads and one tail occur. Two heads and one tail occur. Here, three head, no need. HHT means two head and one tail. HHT. HTH, HTF, two head and one tail. THH. Right? Favorable outcomes are three means number of the elements. Number of the items, favorable outcomes in A, 1, 2, 3. Therefore, probability of A, favorable number of outcomes upon total number of outcomes means M by N or it is given by 3 by A equal to probability of A. See, probability of element A is given by M by N, it is equal to 3 by A. Another Head and tail occurs alternatively. Head and tail occurs alternatively is H T T H. This way. H T H or T F T. Means only two outcomes are there. Favorable outcomes. Two means two upon eight. One by four. Eight means total outcomes. Total outcomes. This is only the basic and primary example based on probability. You see. Just first have an example based on illustration exercise, you can get the idea. Now another example, example number two. Example number two. Two fair guys are thrown simultaneously in certain time. Find the probability that, find the probability that sum equal to seven means total of the digit equal to seven. And equal number occurs or same digit occurs on both the dice. Right? Now, two dice are thrown simultaneously. Therefore, total outcomes are 6, 6 raised to 2 equal to 36. 6 raised to 2 because 6 number of the faces and 2 means 36. Now, what are the 36 outcomes? 36 number of the outcomes are 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. On the first die and on the second die. On the first die and on the second die. First day shows 1, second day shows 1. Means 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. Right? Same way, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. This way, 36 number of the outcomes. Total number of outcomes. If two dice are thrown at a time, means simultaneously. Now, there are two events. That is sum equal to 7. On the upper face of the die, the sum means total equal to 7, the digit. A means sum equal to 7. When sum equal to 7, in the first row, this pair means 1, 6 pair, sum equal to 7. In the second row, 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. In the third row, 3 plus 4, 
3, 4. Total equal to 7. In the fourth one, 4, 3. Right? In the next one, 5, 2. In the last one, 6, 1. Means favorable outcomes. Total number means favorable outcomes of A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. N of A equal to 6 means favorable outcomes upon total outcome. 6 upon this 36. 6 upon 36 is equal to 1 upon 6. All this has result. Result number 1. Now another event. Event B. Equal number of the same digit on both the dice. Same digit means 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. This way. Means equal number on both the dice. There is no difference. Difference equal to 0. Right? 1, 1, 2, 2 means number of the elements in B equal to 6. Probability of B. Probability of happening of B is favorable outcomes upon total outcomes. M upon N. There are also 6 outcomes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 divided by 36. Ultimately the answer will be 1 upon 6. No need to get in the fraction form that decimal point. Right? This way answer you have to write 1 upon 6. But only this. Not more than, not more simplified. Because 1 upon 3 becomes 0 0.3333333 unbounded number of the time. Means it is repeated. And that is why 1 upon 3 is the proper answer. 1 upon 6 is the proper answer. 2 upon 3 is the proper answer. For probability chapter only. Means right in the numerator and denominator form this way. Right? Practice very well. Because this is one of the important chapter in our syllabus. In our syllabus, statistics part 2 is one of the important chapter is probability. Right? So, deeply study and practice very well. Thank you everybody. See you.